So hi and welcome to this video. So today we're going to be doing is we're going to be uploading videos to uh, our website um, because that's sort of what the website's about and we haven't actually done that yet. So we're going to do that today. So the first thing we need to know before we get started is um, the size of the videos we want to upload. On YouTube the limit is like 2 gigabytes um, in size um, and by default PHP has a limit as well. So uh, we need to change that limit. Uh, if it's already if it already doesn't suit our needs, um, because so, if uh the PHP limit is set to I don't know for for example say ten megabytes, and you try to upload an eleven megabyte video, it just won't work. Whenever it uh, has uploaded ten megabytes, the upload will um time out. So uh, there's two ways to do it. There's by editing the PHP that INI file, and there's another way which is .ht access. The first one is um more recommended and preferred apparently um but it involves it requires you to have access to the php.ini file and if you're on a virtual private server or a dedicated server you should have this but if you're on a shared hosting um <coughs> sorry uh, if you're on shared hosting you might not have it so that's why you would uh, need ht access so i'm going to show you how to do both so the first thing we need to do is we need to find the PHP INI file, and I've already found it, but I'm going to show you where it is. So, uh, okay, so you can see here, uh, if we go here, uh, whoops, it says local disk C, okay, I'll just go to that actually, uh, and here is the XAMPP folder, so this is my C drive, this is uh, XAMPP, and if we go inside XAMPP, there's a folder in here called PHP. So we click on that and in here we just type in PHP and here it says PHP and then it says configuration settings. So if we uh, check that's the right one we can check that by going to properties and that'll open the uh, properties of the file and as you can see it says configuration settings and then the file extension is .ini. So this is the php.ini file and you just open that up and as you can see it's about just over halfway or just under halfway through the uh, page we find max or uh, upload max file size and at the moment this is the default I haven't changed anything so by default when you install XAMPP it's uh, 128 megabytes um, but if you're having trouble finding this it's really simple all you have to do is if you have a text editor like context you can press Control F and you can just type in upload oops uh, oh yeah we have to uh, go up so if we go to the top of the file and we just uh, type in control F and we uh, type in upload and click find, it says file uploads and here we can just scroll down a bit, oops, uh, it says file uploads and actually here it is here. So you can change this to whatever you want, you can leave it, you could leave it at the default which is 128 megabytes, you could reduce it to 64 megabytes or whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just this is the limit of the size of the video you'll be able to upload and if you don't have access to your php.ini file what you can do is you can go to .ht access file and you can uh, oops, go down and you can uh, just type in um, php underscore value upload max file size and then you can put in what you want so you could say 5m which would be 5 megabytes which wouldn't be very good so I'm going to put that to 128 um, but actually I can get rid of this because I have the php.ini file already set to 128 megabytes uh, so basically I can get rid of this but if you don't have access to your php.ini file you'll have to use this method so once you've done that and you've changed your um, max upload size to whatever you want for your videos we're ready to get started so as you can see here I have a file called upload.php and if we go to it in the browser uh, we actually need to include the header so let's do that um, so it's include it's include and it's uh, includes forward slash header dot php so now if we just refresh we can see we've got our title loaded, so uh, that means the header's probably been included correctly. So uh, here's our upload.php page. 
So what we're going to do is we're actually going to steal some code from some of the other pages we've used. So I'm going to go to open and uh, we can go to the upload image file and we can just copy all this, the whole thing really. And just paste it in here. So we're going to just say upload uh, a video. Uh, and obviously we need to change this to upload.php because it's a self-submitting form. We can leave that as multi-part form data because it's still, um, it's not like text and stuff. It's submitting, it's an image or it's a video. Um, upload your image. We just change this to upload your video. And then change this to just upload. So, um, we're going to scroll to the top and we have here, it says if is set uh, channel pick. So, uh okay uh what that is is that's just this here so it says if there's a file that's been submitted and we're going to change this to just maybe video and copy it and put it up here and swap these around so we're going to uh change chat okay well here's another thing we can do we can uh press Control f to or whoops we can go to where is it edit replace and we can replace every instance of uh, channel underscore pick with video. Uh, you might not be able to do this in every text editor, but uh, that's why it's good to have something like context. So we're just going to click replace all, and that saves us a lot of time um, trying to replace it. So what we're going to do now is we can remove some of these options because the only sort of the only video type we're going to be accepting is MP4 for uh, maximum compatibility. So we'll get rid of that. So that's all we've got. Um, that's all we're accepting. So we're going to type in uh, video slash MP4, uh, and we're going to upload it to data users and then videos, and we'll get rid of this. So it's video slash random directory. And then video name. Okay, that's good. Uh, we can just create that folder now. So if we go to the video box um, directory uh, and we go to data users and we create a new folder. Um, so we've got our videos folder. We're just going to double click inside of it and you can see it's empty. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually, that's where we're going to be uploading it to. So I'm just going to change this to video exist. So we're going to change, we're just really changing things around um, to um, suit the video. And we're going to change that or uh, actually comment that out. And we're just going to change image to video. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we need to change this as well. So videos and then get rid of the icons folder. Uh, and let's have a look here. Okay, this code looks redundant, so um, we can uh, get rid of it. And let's try it. So let's just refresh the page. Okay, so we've got an error on line five. So uh, let's go up to line five. Uh, here it is. If is set files. Okay, so um. Okay, so what we've done, we just left out um, a parenthesis at the end. Uh, okay, so now if we go and refresh, uh, let's have a look underneath everything. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Okay, so uh, whoops, let's just refresh it to get rid of that. So here we have it uh, refreshed and we got rid of that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to upload a video now. Okay, so if we go to choose file and we click on the test video I made, it's only 105 kilobytes and it's uploading to the same computer as it's on, so it should be very, very fast to upload. So there it is, it says the video is uploaded successfully and if we come down here, we can see in our videos folder we have um, a video file that has a really weird name and that's what we wanted. So now we can uh, copy that. <clears throat> Actually, we don't need to. We can just uh, go here to forward slash data, forward slash videos. Uh, just go to, we'll actually just go to data. It's actually then it's in users and then it's in videos. 
and here's our video and we can prove that it's uploaded and it worked six or it uh, worked successfully if we click on it uh, the video will start playing in our browser so it's a really bad quality um, just a really simple video just to show that we uh, could get it uploaded so it just says this is a test video and then it's like this and it's only 12 or 11 seconds long so but this proves that our uh, file upload is working uh, so what we can do now is we're going to just very quickly um, okay so what I was going to do is I was going to um, actually uh, finish the uh, video upload and associate it with the user who uploaded it and store the video in a database and things but uh, I want to go with that. I want to go over that very in depth. So uh, we'll actually be doing that in the next video. So in the next video, what we'll be doing is we'll be doing that stuff with the database, and we'll also be doing some really cool stuff with MD5 hashing to check if the video is uh, to check if the video has already been uploaded before. So if the video has already been uploaded, we can store the MD5 hash for it in the database, and we can check it every time we upload a video. And if the video has been uploaded, we'll know that somebody's trying to copy someone else, and they'll have to change the video or get rid of it. Well, uh, that's what we'll be doing next time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Uh, and well, that's really it. So uh, as I said, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.